My name is Jeffrey Beach. I'm 46 years old. At 42 years old, I had a heart attack. Well, I've been into motorcycles all my life, since I was young. I had just completed a long motorcycle ride uh, the day before. I had gotten out of the driveway to start a motorcycle that wouldn't start. After uh, a couple tries, I started feeling the pain in my arm. Riding a motorcycle in traffic, you use your left arm for clutching a lot, and you can get uh, clutch elbow and that's what it felt like and that's what I attributed it to a little while later I was on the phone with my wife telling her I wasn't feeling all that great I had mentioned I had pain in my arm I didn't want to go to the hospital for this I didn't want any part of this I just wanted to you know go about my day uh, my wife convinced me that at least we could go to the doctor's office which was right down the street and uh, the doctor ran an EKG. So he picks up the printout and he starts looking at everything. He says, dial 911. And that's when I really was like, wow, no way. No way. This, this ain't happening. That was it. Next thing I knew, I was in an ambulance on my way to the hospital. I, I don't remember a whole lot until I got on the table. And at that point, I realized something was gonna happen to me with my heart and it, and it was going to happen in the next few seconds. I think there's a, a cohesive uh, bond between the paramedics, the 12 lead EKG, the way the cath lab team works, and the whole Henry Ford principle of getting you in and getting you fixed now. They were hours ahead of where I thought I was even going and, and they were already into knowing what they were going to do, who was going to do it, and how it was going to get done. And in a matter of minutes, I felt better, I realized it was over, and I realized uh, how important this team was. I didn't realize how important it was until after the procedure was done. and. Uh, one of the team members had showed me a, a DVD or, or something, a clip of what they did and how they did it. But it was mind blowing watching once that was done, the rest of your insides all of a sudden come to life. And it had been dormant for I don't know how long. And I felt 100% after that had happened. I hadn't known how long I was not running on 100%, but those, those precious minutes could have left them with zero percent. You know, from the time I went into the ambulance to the time I was on the table and, and the balloon was working was 17 minutes. I mean, that's... I blew four hours of that at home in denial. That is a big deal. And the, with the way technology is and the commitment Henry Ford has, it's just unreal how many lives are saved. What we did was try to live life to the fullest, and for years I thought that meant just relax, you know, have somebody else do it, pay to have this done. No more exercise, no more good food. I mean, it was just drive-throughs all the time. Whatever was convenient, you get complacent, and the next thing you know, it sneaks up on you. Since my heart attack, I have uh, learned how to cook. We all eat healthier, we all exercise, um, most of the time together, and um, our, our whole lifestyle is focused on just healthier living. It's not, it's not about convenience, you know, we'll, we'll go the extra mile. Don't think that you are Superman, but you know, when that time comes, if you keep going the way you're going, that time will come. Dial 911 and hope you go to Henry Ford. If it wasn't for the team at Henry Ford, I wouldn't be here. In a matter of a few short minutes, saved my life. Changed my life. And my family's lives.